In 2020, the world faced an unprecedented challenge, the global semiconductor shortage. This exposed vulnerabilities in supply chains and highlighted the importance of semiconductors as a strategic resource for economic and national security. For India, heavily reliant on imports for semiconductors, the crisis was a wake-up call. Recognizing the critical role of semiconductors in its digital and industrial future, India launched the India Semiconductor Mission, also known as ISM. Semiconductors are the foundation of advanced technologies like artificial intelligence, 5G, electric vehicles, and quantum computing. Understanding semiconductor supply chains highlights India's technological and economic vulnerabilities. The semiconductor race is at the heart of US-China tensions, Taiwan's strategic importance, and India's role in the Quad Supply Chain Initiative. Topics on technology for inclusive growth, Atmanirbhar Bharat and national security tie closely to India's semiconductor aspirations. Launched in 2021, the India Semiconductor Mission or ISM is a $10 billion initiative to create a robust semiconductor ecosystem. It focuses on three key pillars. Setting up manufacturing plants to produce silicon wafers, the building blocks of chips. For instance, Vedanta Foxconn's proposed 28 nanometer fab in Gujarat. Assembly, testing, marking and packaging units to process wafers into finished chips. For instance, Micron Technologies $2.75 billion facility in Gujarat. Leveraging India's strength in chip design and innovation. Bengaluru and Hyderabad are already global hubs for VLSI which stands for Very Large Scale Integration and EDA or Electronic Design Automation. Semiconductors are not just a technological resource, they are a strategic weapon. Consider these global dynamics. TSMC or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company produces over 60% of the world's semiconductors, including 92% of advanced chips you know, those under 7 nanometers. The U.S. launched its CHIPS Act with $52 billion to boost domestic production. Meanwhile, China is investing heavily under its Made in China 2025 plan to reduce dependency. India's partnerships with Quad nations like the U.S., Japan and Australia aim to diversify global supply chains. Collaborations with Taiwan for skill development in EUV lithography are key to India's long-term plans. Semiconductors are critical for India's vision of a $1 trillion digital economy by 2026. Here's how. Semiconductors power smartphones, cloud computing and digital payments, essential for expanding digital access. Advanced chips are vital for missiles, cybersecurity, and AI-driven defense systems. The mission could create 1 million jobs directly and indirectly by fostering research and development, manufacturing, and ancillary industries. By becoming a chip-making hub, India can reduce dependency on imports and position itself as a reliable partner in global tech supply chains. Building semiconductor fabs is one of the most complex industrial processes. India faces several challenges. Advanced fabs cost 15 to 20 billion dollars. India needs sustained investments and global partnerships. Semiconductor manufacturing requires expertise in photolithography, etching and clean room management. Skills still nascent in India. India must secure rare earth metals and ensure a steady supply chain for materials like polysilicon and photoresists. To address these challenges, the government has launched several initiatives. Production-linked incentive schemes provide financial support for electronics and semiconductor manufacturing. 
encouraging startups and companies to focus on design innovations. Partnerships with Taiwan and South Korea for technical expertise and workforce development. India's semiconductor mission isn't just about chips. It's about shaping the nation's future. It's about bridging the technology gap, ensuring economic sovereignty, and securing India's place in the age of silicon. Use this mission as a case study for self-reliance in GS3, focusing on economy and technology. Highlight its global implications for GS2, especially in international relations. Connected to broader themes like energy security, defense, and inclusive growth. Key takeaways for UPSC aspirants. Focus on specifics, know what fabs, ATMP units, and VLSI design entail, link to policy. Discuss PLI schemes and their effectiveness, broaden the scope, understand global semiconductor geopolitics and India's positioning. <laughs>